review on this ABN TV newspaper review. Here with me, I have the Punch newspaper and I have the Tribune newspaper. And firstly, we go to the Punch newspaper. Kidnappers abduct doctors to treat gang members, says Nat. How and bad governance protests cost near DSSV's boss their jobs. Why I'm silent on issue raised by Igwe, 161 Nigeria students fail UK border checks, deny entry, flooding. Here's 195 Cameroon sets to release dam water. Now the story in details. 161 Nigeria students fail UK border checks, deny entry. No fewer than 1,425 international students who gained admission to university in the United Kingdom was in an entry at the country airport between 2021 and 2023. A total of 161 Nigerians were affected as they were removed and on arrival of airports across the UK, according to data exclusively obtained from the UK Home Office through the Freedom International Act. Indian report that the list of the infected foreign students with 644, representing 45% of the figures, while Nigeria follow with 113.3%, Ghana is third on the list with 92%. 161 Nigeria students fail UK border checks and deny entry. The full details of the story is on page 5 of the Nigerian Punch newspaper. Another story here with me in the Nigerian Punch newspaper. Mocking pause cases rise to 48 in 19 states FCT. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control and Prevention says 48 confirmed monkey pause cases have been recorded out of 868 suspected cases across 35 local government areas in 19 states and the Federal Capital Territory. This was revealed at the monkey post situation report for week 34, August 25, period on the agency's website on Friday. The report, however, showed that to the death has been recorded from the CC so far this year. It said 57 non-suspected cases were reported in EP week, week 34, 2024, compared with 25 cases reported in the previous week, EP week 33. Eight confirmed cases were reported in week 34, compared with one confirmed cases reported in week 33, 2024. Monkey post cases rises in 48 in 19 states uh, state and FCT. The full details of the story is on page 5 of Nigerian Punch newspaper. Another story here with me in Nigerian Punch newspaper. Do not politicize education. CDHR says Adeleke. The Committee for the Defense of Women Rights has urged Ocean State Governor Ademola Adeleke to not to politicize education, emphasizing that beneficial policies and programs from previous administrative should be upheld. The CDHR, in a statement signed by its Ocean State Chairman Emmanuel Olo on Friday, called on Adeleke to reinstate the essays competition and ALWA program celebrating the state's creation. The competition introduced during former Governor Adigbo Egao Itola administration was at over 3,500 participants from secondary and tertiary institutions in the state. However, the program has not been aired as well as the state. According to the dissolution, the CDHR criticized the abdomen of effective policy and program as stating that the AC competition being highly educational should not be discontinued. The statement read in part, we further the adornment of projects and discrimination of good policies and program of past administration by a new government. Program the S like essay competition, which was very educative, should not be for any reason. Perhaps a better alternate should have been in the place if the current administration find anything missing in the program. Do not politicize education. CDHR says Adeleke. The full details of page seven of Nigerian Punch newspaper. Another story here with me, Nigerian Punch newspaper. Cost free starting back accounts over alleged tourism funding. A federal high court sitting in Abuja on Friday issued an order for testing bank accounts linked to a suspected tourist one Henry Okocha to be freezing. Justice Pizza issued the order following an expert applicant file because for the court by the Department of the State Service through its counsel Yunus Uman. The expert application mark 
was brought under Section 5 and 81 of the Terrorism Prevention and Prohibition Act 2022. The DSS, in an eighth paragraph, affidavit in support of the expectant's motion, told the court that the defendants received huge sums of money in millions of Nora in their accounts and funds are suspected to be proceeded of terrorism. Cost free starting bank accounts over alleged terrorism funding. The full details of research in page 16 of the Nigerian Punch newspaper. Another story here with the Nigerian Punch newspaper. Ogun State's government suspends strike for four weeks. The Ogun State Charters of the Nigerian Medical Association on Friday suspended its 27 day strike, which had paralyzed medical services across state on healthcare facilities. The strike doctors look this decision after an emergency general meeting held between August 27 and August 29, 2024 in Nabi Okuta. The doctor said that the suspension was a strike will be for four weeks after which a review of the situation will be done and next line of action will be divided. The body said the temporary reception of the strike was intended to facilitate a period of peaceful dialogue with the Ogun State government. Chairman of Ogun State's NMA, Dr. Ogun Jimmy Lukman, addressed a press conference at the Association State Secretariat, enlightening the primary reason behind the strike and his recent decision to suspend it. He said the strike had been embarked upon since August 3 in response to the state government's failure to implement the review consolidated medical salary structure wages, which had been in effect for federal medical workers since June 2023. Lukman explained that the association decision to call off the strike was motivated by the hardship faced by the public during the strike period. Ogun State's government suspends strike for four weeks. The full details of the research is on page 12 of the Nigerian Punch newspaper. Another study here with me in the Nigerian Punch newspaper. Abiyadu prays for reconstructing Ab Abdon Bridge. Members of the lost community in Olugbolu local government areas of Ogun State has commended Governor Dakpo Abiyadu for reconstructing their collapsed bridge, which had been abandoned for decades. Leaders of the community gave the commandants of the litter presented to the governor through the Commissioner for Physical Planning and Urban Development, Olaseju Odunlami, during a contest's visit to his office as Okumara Obiokuta. Speaking leaders of the delegation, Ibidapo added Banjo said the class bridge has been a major source of concern for the community and posed significant challenges to transportation and economic activities in the area. Abiyadu prays for reconstructing Abdon Bridge. The full details of research is on page 12 of the Nigerian Punch newspaper. And before we go to the second edition of this program, the Tribune newspaper, if you like to follow us on our website page, you can follow us and click on WWABN TV Network. You can click on WWABN TV Network on our website page. And we also have our social media. You can follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. On our Facebook, you can subscribe and like and share. You can click on ABN TV Austin. And we also have our YouTube. You can click on ABN TV Nigeria. And Twitter, you can click, you can click and share and subscribe on our ABN TV Austin. And lastly, on our Instagram, you can click on ABN TV Nigeria. You can like to follow us on our website page, on our social media page. And before we come back to the second edition of this program, let's listen to what we have for you on our studio. We'll be right back. Discover the uniqueness in the entertainment industry. African Broadcasting Network, ABN, is now the pace setter in the industry. Do you want to advertise your products and services? Count on us. We will do it much more than your expectations. African Broadcasting Network, ABN, will deliver quick and prompt services. Our quality and clarity stands us out when it comes to delivering quality broadcasting. Our staffs are hardworking and versatile in the specific field of office. Our environment is so conducive and we are open to all. We also give advice on how to run your business profitably. African Broadcasting Network is situated at 9894 Business Street, Suit 875, Houston, Texas 77036. Contact phone 281 652 8396 and 832 490 8203. Website www.abntvnetwork.com. ABN celebrating Africans. Welcome rich. back, and I hope you enjoy what we have in our studio. Now to the second edition of this program, the Tribune Newspaper. 
and the headline here with me with the Tribune newspaper. Why I paid back three million for one thousand student loan I took in in 1976. Un University of Ibadan students protest as governing council hike school fees. Tinubu is an imperial who will be difficult to dislodge in 2027. Government invade Yobe school mother sc students. Only by the elevate six obas in Balogun line. APC, Ganija Woods governors ahead of neck meeting. Yoruba people must say enough to attack by outsider. Now the st story induces. Night journey is prohibited in NYNC. The Director General of National Youth Service Corps, Brigada General Yusua Ahmed, has warned Corps members that night traveling is prohibited in NYC. He also said any Corps member that embarks on journey not authorized by the scheme will be sanctioned in the line with NYC bylaws. He gave the warning on Friday while addressing the 2024 Badge B, Stream 2, course members and COP officials at the NYCF City Orientation Camp in Kabul, Abuja. Deputy Director of Information and Public Relations, Caroline Abu, in a statement said, General Ambu, however, told the COPS members that if there was no need for a compulsory journey, such as COP members should terminate the journey by 6 p.m. and continue the following day. He said, while traveling and once it is 6 p.m., anywhere you find yourself, look for a size place, a safe place like a military branch, police station, or any cop lodge, and pass the night to continue your journey the following day. And I advise you to remain disciplined throughout the service year. Be security conscious in your environment, and ensure you are there strictly to NYC bylaw, the DCG said. I may also employ the COP members to adhere to all camp rules and make good friends, respect other people's opinions, and participate actively in all camp activities. While declaring the orientation course open, the FC Minister of State, Dr. Maria Mahmoud, reacted the continuous support of the FC administration of the scheme in an address which was presented by the Mandate Secretary, Youth Development Secretary, Honorable Abdullah Suleiman. The minister admonish the course members to serve the nation as good ambassador of their family. Night journey is prohibited in NYSC. The full details of the is on page 4 of Nigerian Tribune newspaper. Another story here with me in Nigerian Tribune newspaper. Southwest Governor's orders commend OPC, Danny Adams, contribution to security. Southwest Governors and other Nigerians have commended Are on Kankafo at Yoruba Land and the Odra People Congress, APC, for their contribution to security in the region, as well as the promotion of Yoruba culture and tradition. The six governors, Babajide Senwolu of Lagos State, Sheyi Makinde of Oyo State, Ademola Adeleke of Oshun State, Dakpo Abiodun of Ogun State, Abiodun Oyebanji of Ekiti State, and Lucky Aida Sewa on those states, gave the Kundos on Thursday at the 30, 30 years anniversary celebration of APC in Lagos. The event was attended by several dignitaries, including traditional rulers and chiefs from Yoruba land, cultural organizations from across the country captains of industry, among others. The governors were all represented by their aides, namely Shahid Olushola, Balogun, who represented for Sonwolu. Governor Abiodun described the organization and industry as symbolic, just as if L OPC for standing up in protecting the interests of the region. Governor Sonwolu had the OPC and the Yoruba Generation Air Force in fostering regional unity had not gone unnoticed urging the group and its leader not to relent in their good deed. Governor Makinde equally showered economy on Adams and OPC for being pillars of support for his administration, while Governor Oyebanji also praised Adams and OPC contribution in on security of lives and property in the region urging them to do more. Adams, who is also the national coordinator of OPC, in his I welcome address, said the organization will continue to be the leading group in Yoruba land and the country, assuring that the social cultural organization would continue to protect the interests of Yoruba and never fail in our efforts to promote the cultural and identity of the race, as well as securing the lives and property of the people. Southwest governor, others commend OPC, Ghani Adams, Contribution to Security. The full details of research is on page 5 of Nigerian Tribune newspaper. Another story here you see in the Nigerian Tribune newspaper. So people will not be distracted by criticism, Northern Group says. 
did not use network on peace, as described former National Vice Chairman Northwest of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Dr. Saliu Lukma, recising weaknesses of President Bola Sinobu administration as fascia intervention that should not be taken seriously. According to a statement signed by Comrade Adaji Ajibili, Lukman commenced a desperate attempt to distract Nigeria from President Sinubu tangible progress and developments in various sectors, including economic reforms and infrastructural developments. Ajibili commended President Sinubu's leadership, saying he is constantly demonstrated his commitment to the Nigeria people. The Northern Youth Network on Peace has noted with concern the increasingly fascia intervention of the incident politicians and a former national vice chairman of the All Progressive Congress, Dr. Salu Lukman. Things have gotten to a point where Nigeria should no longer take Lukman seriously, as though we still see substances in his statements on national matters, do so as it is fair, especially given his latest intervention tutorial, the opposition on how to conduct their affairs. Zinubu will not be distracted by criticism, Northern's group says. The full details of this is on page 7 of Nigerian Tribune newspaper. And lastly, with me, Nigerian Tribune newspaper. Vesage boss celebrates late Governor Akari Dolu wife on completion of PhD. The wife of the late Ondo State Governor, Resimi Akeridolu, Mrs. Betsy Ayawu Akeridolu, has completed her PhD program in fishery from the Federal University of Technology, Akure Futsa. Ayawu Akeridolu, last Friday, defended her PhD thesis title, Comparative Biotechnical Models for the Production of African Catfish, figuring use solar power, recreating aquaculture system. The 70 years old student revealed that she has a master's fisheries and added technology to her PhD program because she was fascinated by renewable energy and its power to change outcomes. Our external examiner, Professor Fumnola Agebi, congratulated her for her work and completion of the program. Fiji's Midland Chief Executive Officer, Chukwit Uwuchuku, took to social media to acknowledge on Yahoo Akaredolu for your academic fast. Four years ago, the former first lady of Ondo State, Betsy Ayawu Akredolu, told me she was running a PhD program at the Federal University of Technology, Akure. I wonder the time she had to add the PhD academic things to her table, but that is her and her demand for excellence. She demands more from life every day, and that is what makes her exceptional. The vintage media was stated. According to Iwochuku, Dr. Ayawu Akredolu stated her PhD program in 2011. As boss post is only to reactivate its five years age. This age boss celebrates late Governor Akari Dolu wife on completion of PhD. The full details of the is in page five of Nigerian Tribune newspaper. And that what we have for you on our newspaper review. If you like to follow us on our page on our website page, you can click on WWABNTV Network. On our website page, you can click and follow us on our WWABNTV Network. And you can also follow us on our website. We have the Facebook, we have the Twitter, we have the YouTube, we have the Instagram. On our Facebook, you can click and subscribe and like and share. You can click on ABNTV Houston. And we also have our YouTube, you can click on ABNTV Nigeria. And likewise, we also have our YouTube, you can click on ABNTV Nigeria. And we also have our Twitter you can click on ABNTV Houston. And lastly, on our Instagram, try to subscribe and like and share. You can click on ABNTV Nigeria. That's what we have for you on our newspaper review. Thanks for listening and thanks for watching me. My name is Kenny Afolabi. Bye for now.